Hey guys, Master Trainer Margaret here. So today I have you a super quick, super effective arm workout that requires zero equipment except your body. So super excited about this. It's a collection of really effective moves so you can just follow along. I will be doing this standing, but you can do this sitting down in a chair. It's totally doable for anybody. If you are watching and you're enjoying these tips and tutorials, be sure to check out my online classes and clinics, which I have available for streaming or download. You can find the link in my profile. But for now, let's get to the workout. First thing we're going to do is do a hunch up. So my shoulder tension people, you get shoulder tension after doing arms. We really need to relax and stretch this area and focus on keeping our torso tall to not get our traps activated more than our lats and our biceps and everything else. So first things first, knees go out. You're gonna hunch up your shoulders up to your ears, as far up to your ears as you can go. I want you right here, think as far up to your ears as you can go and kind of wiggle around like a gorilla there. Shake your neck around and then do a big inhale. See how my rib cage expanded? That's what you want. And then exhale and then relax it down. Do one more. Hunch up, think expand the ribs side to side and then exhale. So flattering, I know. I want you to have your hands here and I want you to take your thumbs and I want you to reach your thumbs back as much as you can. Notice if one arm feels like it's tighter than the other, that's okay. Just think to reach back with those thumbs while keeping the shoulders stable. So it's gonna look like this. You're reaching back, your chin is staying slightly tucked, your chin is not jutting out. Just stretch it there and inhale, and then exhale. And just now we're gonna go forward. So forward, think thumbs go back as best as you can. Really think to stretch back with that thumb, inhale and then exhale. Now one more all the way to the back. This is just stretching all those muscle attachments at the arm, especially if you have a side. My left side's always tighter. Think to really breathe into it and reach back with those thumbs as you inhale and exhale. Very good. Bring those hands in. Full disclosure, this is the second time I've done this. The first time the video camera didn't start. Ah, okay. So let's start again. Hands are coming out. We're gonna do bicep curls first, okay? Pull the knuckles back, stretch the thumb. I'm gonna be so dead by the end of this. You can do it. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. So it's in. Remember, we're touching the top of the shoulder. And then extend, 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 all the way. Think reaching through your arms and through your knuckles. This is two, two, three, extend. Three, two, three, extend. Watch your neck and make sure that your neck is tall and your arms are the one doing the work. This is five and out, six and out. This is seven, seven and out. Last time, eight and out. Now, twist the thumbs down, roll the shoulders down, and we're gonna do some for the top of the arm. So it's armpit, extend. Armpit, extend. Armpit, extend. With this last one we're doing like this, then we're gonna give you a little release for your traps. Ready, here we go, up. Then think down, tighten the lats. Up, extend. So it's up, tighten the lats when you go down. So right here, think tighten around that bra strap. Up and out. That'll save you from working too much trap and it'll help you work the arms more. In and down, in and up. Two more, up and down, up, extend. Last time, and down and extend and now we're all dying yes you can we're going to keep going here we go so it's hitchhikers so just follow along ribs up tall shake out your neck if you're getting any neck tension but think shoulders up and back tighten those lats right around there ready here we go so it's pulse two three four pretend to reach through the thumbs and the knuckles like you're shooting silly string at the wall through your knuckles, through those muscles. You really wanna work the full fiber. So it's up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Here's the fun part. So it's twist back, twist to the front, twist it back. Notice if you have one more that goes more flexible, that's okay. Just try to match it up and back to the front. This is six, that is seven, and this is the last one, eight. And good, very good. Woo, keep those hands there. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a kickback here. So you're gonna have your hands in, give you a little bit of a break here. <laughs> Slight lean over, elbows in, pinch the donut hands, here we go. So it's extend two, three, and up. Woo, feeling those triceps after what we just did. Extend two, three, and up. Full extension on the wrist if you can. Four, two, three, and up. 
really touch those fingers to the bicep every time and up. That's actually a deltoid. I can't talk today. <laughs> okay, two more. And last time, this time I want you to try it with a bear claw. Bear claw and up. So you're touching that deltoid with your thumb every time. This feels a little different, but you can't do the full extension on that wrist. Five and up, six and up. Shake out the neck if you're getting neck tension. And last time, here we go. Very good. Now butterflies, hand comes up. We're only gonna do half butterflies. We're not doing all the way down. So it's down two, three and up. You have your hand in mitten hand. You're stretching those thumbs to the back wall every time and you're growing tall each time. Now here we go. Down and up, two and up, three and up. We're going for eight, five and up, six and up, seven and up, eight and up, and curl, lunge, look down, shake out those hands. Woo, that's a lot, I know. Come <laughs> back up and down. So curl, hunch up like a gorilla. Do those hands towards me and then release it down. One more time, hunch up and release. One little arm stretch, hand to the arm, pull that arm around so as you're tapping your back, tap two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just helps get out some of that soreness there. Tap two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this one, hand comes up above, pull up that elbow, look straight down at the floor, relax your neck, and just breathe into that stretch on the side. Do an inhale and exhale. I never end arm workouts without stretching because you need it. Hand comes to the elbow, look straight down. Really look down at the ground as you stretch and inhale and exhale. And then whoo, come all the way up. Very good. You did it. You survived. Great job. Hope you enjoy this video. Comment below. Love to hear your experience with this move. Have a great day.